Welcome to Gel Printing July, day four. First off, I really want to thank all of you for all your reactions, um, both uh, here on YouTube in the comments, but also on uh, Facebook and Instagram. I really love to read all, uh, all your reactions um, uh, and uh, answering your questions and uh, yeah, just feel your, your engagement. It's really a, a great feeling that uh, I'm not doing this alone, <laughs> but that uh, yeah, you guys are with me, whether you're just watching the videos or actually making monoprints. Uh, I really love it. Now, today I'm uh, actually <laughs> a bit in a hurry. And uh, yeah, so I'm uh, today I'm feeling a bit uh, stressed or rushed. And um, but yeah, I've made it this commitment. This is my practice for this month. I have chosen to do uh, <laughs> crazy me to do 31 uh, gel printing sessions in uh, 31 days and uh, also <laughs> quite important to make uh, daily of daily videos about it. So yeah, it's my commitment to myself. Uh, and even though I feel like I don't have time or not much time, um, I am going to do it. So uh, yeah, that also feels really good. But um, probably it will be only one monoprint. We'll see. Um, so I uh, thought it would be fun to play with a round gel plate today. This is, uh, I think, 8 inch in the di diameter. And I've used it a few times, not often, but uh, it's really nice. It gives a, yeah, a very interesting uh, look because it is round. And I also wanted to play with uh, some uh, different uh, paints because of course I'm in a hurry so I am going to change up everything <laughs> and do stuff I didn't do before oh well this is supposed to be fun and not perfect right so I just picked some blue green kind of colors and I don't even know for sure if they go well together uh, but this is a color that I really like. It is uh, indigo. Uh, I have another indigo that I love as well, but this indigo is a bit more greenish than uh, the other indigo. So I uh, wanted to use some other greenish blue uh, colors with it. This is Titan Green Pale. This is a fluid acrylic from Golden and um, it's very light, uh, but it's a bit greenish. And then I have Treasure Gold and this color is Blue Quartz. And this is a metallic. So <laughs> I don't have time, we make time. And uh, I have new colors and I don't know if they go well together. So uh, <laughs> this is going to quick and hopefully fun adventure. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have time, so let me get this here. So I thought it would be fun to, with this round plate, to create a bit of a, an idea of uh, a clock, or at least of, um, yeah, a, uh, yeah, a clock. Um, so I have made, I hope you can see this, this is made from uh, hot glue. And I have made these with my patrons on a live art date. <laughs> I do this with uh, all my patrons. I've done it now for the first time and I'm going to do it every month. It was really, really fun. But we made these um, um, hot glue uh, things, stencils, or you can use them as stencils. Really simple to make. Uh, it's still on my Patreon if you want to have a look. But of course, you, you don't have to use this. You can use anything. Uh, uh, again, this is just my videos here and Gel pr Printing July is just meant to be an inspiration and you can change up everything and 
uh, try out variations if you don't have exactly what I have. Anyway, I have uh, these uh, things <laughs> and I thought I could use them as uh, stencils to create kind of like yeah, an idea of a clock. Not that it has to resemble a clock. Actually, I don't want it to be exactly like a clock. Um, but just um, create a kind of abstract interpretation of a clock or of time or even more so of a lack of time. Speaking of which, I hear <laughs> the bell tower outside. Um, it's time, I have to hurry, so um, I'm going to get my paints. Now, um, I'm using this printer paper just as a palette so I can mix my paints a little bit. Normally I would not use uh, normal paper for that, but this is just so that you don't have too much glare from the camera. Of course you can use just any kind of palette to mix your paints. And I have a small brayer here, this is a 2 inch. And I think I'm just going to mix up some of these paints just randomly. And I really don't know exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> which is kind of fun always, but it's now it's a bit nerve wracking as well with this uh, bit of time pressure that I'm feeling. <laughs> but hey. As I said, this is not about perfectionism, but it's about my practice, my dedication, my commitment, and so on and so forth. Oh, but the colors, the colors look great together, actually. This metallic. Let's add a little bit of this as well. I'm not sure about that combination, but I wanted a bit of light stuff also. And yeah. Not sure if that is the best choice, but we'll see how this turns out. Also, I have to hurry a bit, not just because I have stuff to do, but also because I wa don't want this paint to dry too quickly, because I also have to place <laughs> my, um, my uh, hot glue things. This is way too thick. Okay, so I, I'm going to remove some of this paint. But I didn't want everything to mix. Let's see if I can get my bigger brayer. Okay, hurry, hurry. So here are my hot glue stripes. So if I was trying to create the hands of, of a clock, then I would try to find the center point of this circle, but um, I'm not going to do that because, well, <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> I don't have time for that. So I'm just doing this without being overly perfectionistic. And actually, I don't want it to be all boringly balanced. So let's see. I think I'm going to dab off a little bit just with some uh, paper towel and I hope that I'm not moving my hot glue blobs like I'm doing here <laughs> oh well I 
I did put this big disclaimer here <laughs> that I don't have time. So that gave me total permission to just fail if necessary. So my inner critic should be satisfied with that. Let's put that there and this one here. So my paint is now drying on me. But I can still manipulate it. Yeah, now I'm with my fingers there in the paint, of course. <laughs> well, let's do this hand of time, which is not connected. I wonder what that is for symbolic uh, indication. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I'm I'm enjoying this so much. It is such an a feeling that I have permission to play and just have fun. Gel printing is so much fun. It is so light and playful. Let's get this one also. Okay, I think I have to leave it here. And um, I need to let this dry. Um, yeah, I'll just get my heat gun and Try this quickly. Let me just take a quick peek. Yeah, so it looks <laughs> it looks kind of chaotic. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what we have for today. Um, let me get my heat gun and dry this quickly. Hmm. The only thing what I was thinking to do a bit more, even though I don't have time, is maybe see if I can add a little bit of, of this uh, indigo. Oh, that's a lot. Didn't want that much, but hey. If I can add a little bit just to the edges here, so to, um, to kind of emphasize the roundness. Not sure if it's working, but and again, I'm not going to do that perfectly round everywhere, etc. Because let's say that for today our mantra is perfect is boring. <laughs> oh well. Just a hint of. Um, Of this roundness. Okay. Let's see if it will even show up. Yeah, it may show up. I, I wish I had more contrast. Let's see. Maybe a bit of water. Okay, so now I'm starting to fiddle. Do you see that? <laughs> Never fiddle when you don't have time. Uh, 
unless you want to do it anyway like I do. <laughs> Looks a bit like a globe, but then with a lot of water. So <laughs> when I'm looking at this, I get all kinds of ideas what I would do and how, how I could make variations and so on and so on. And I'm really, really <laughs> tempted <laughs> to continue playing, but I don't have time. So <laughs> I'm trying to force myself or to, to uh, keep myself from going to create another one. But you, of course, can do lots and lots of variations on, variations on this. Um, I'm going to let this dry um, and that gives me time to do some preparations for my appointment and things uh, and when this is dry enough I'm going to pull this uh, print. It does look kind of interesting though. Uh, I mean this kind of texture is always interesting. Um, yeah, anyway, I have to go. Uh, I'll come back when this is dry and then we'll pull the print together. Okay, I'm going to pull this print. Let's see how it turned out. So here's my print. Uh, I see that my paper still has to dry a little bit. So it is uh, not flattened out yet. Uh, but but <laughs> actually it lo looks way better than uh, I thought it would look. Um, yeah, that's, there's a lot of interesting uh, texture. I'm sure that uh, people who don't know the story behind this uh, <laughs> Don't see a clock here. <laughs> but actually, I think that's a good thing. Because, um, yeah, who wants to see a clock? And also, I don't have time anyway, so I don't need a clock either. <laughs> but um, there's lots of gorgeous texture. And, uh, yeah... I can think of many ways how I can uh, continue to work with this and uh, do fun variations. Um, that is probably something for uh, the coming days <laughs> because I still have many days to go. Uh, so far so good. I'm really, uh, I, I really love how this turned out. And yeah, the, the round plate has, um, yeah, it has a special, has a special look uh, as well, a special effect as well. So I, uh, I hope you liked this um, video and uh, I hope you uh, now will run to your gel plate, whether you have time or not, <laughs> and start playing. But uh, yeah, whether or not you, you are actually going to uh, gel print with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel inspired creatively and otherwise. I hope you had fun <laughs> as well. I had. 
Um, yeah, if you want to know more about uh, gel printing, I have a video series on my Patreon with uh, uh, basics, uh, basics um, um, uh, information, and that is available for all patrons. So. Um, Starting for three dollars a month, you can uh, check that out. Um, and also, I have projects there, uh, and you can see how I how, how I created those uh, hot glue uh, thingies. Very easy. We had fun. It's uh, in the replay of uh, our patron uh, art date. Anyway, um, yeah. If you if you want to share your work, please. Uh, post it in my Facebook group because I'd love to see it. Uh, I really want to see what you guys are doing. Um, yeah, have fun and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the next video.